Kids can play for hours in a sandpit, and building one is pretty simple. As you can see, our Easy Airs sandpit has a handy fold-back lid that turns into bench seats, so mum and dad can jump in there and watch the kids play all day. So the first thing I need to do is work out what materials I'm going to use to build my sandpit. So I've decided to use a Macrocarpa sleeper for my base and a hardwood decking for the top. Now the reason I've chosen these materials, one is because the timber is untreated, that means no nasty chemicals around the kids, and two, this particular type of timber will last a long time outside. Now I've laid all my boards out, now the type of boards that I am using is a 140 by 20. So I've got a 20 mil packer that I've just chopped off the ends of these, and I've just put that in between that's going to allow me a 20 mil gap to allow water to run through. I can now get a measurement from one side to the other. Now that's exactly 1.9 metres. So I can now go and cut my front and my back sleeper to exactly 1.9 metres. Now I've also just cut my side pieces to 1.8 metres. Now the thickness on my sleeper is 100 mil. So 1.8 plus 200 mil is 2 metres wide by 1900 long. So you could cut yours whatever dimensions you like. This is what I'm running with. So the next thing I have to do is start stitching these together. I'm going to use our 150mm by 10mm coach screw, galvanised, and I'm going to use a washer on it, and I'm going to have these recessed into the timber. So to recess it, I've got a 24mm spade bit, because my washer is about 22mm diameter, so this is going to sit in nicely. So I'll mark a line 50 millimetres in, and I'm going to come up and down 30 millimetres, and I'm going to drill a hole about 12 millimetres deep. Next thing I need to do is use my 8 millimetre auger bit. So I'm going to drill right through the centre of our spade bit hole into our side pieces. Let's start that. Tap that in. I'm going to use my socket set to wind these in. Okay, that's looking lovely. Now all I have to do is exactly the same for the other three corners. Okay, now that I've got it all screwed together, it's really nice and solid. What I need to do now is just measure my diagonals just to make sure that our sand pit is nice and square. 27.42 and 27.40. Two millimetres skinnier this way. I need to push this way in one millimetre. Okay, so this should be 27.41. Boy, hokey, that's looking darn good. We can now start putting on our decking. Okay, I've just finished cutting all my decking boards. Now my overall of our sandpit was two meters. Now I've cut my decking to two meters and 40, because I'm just gonna allow a 20 mil overhang front and back, up to you, whatever you make yours. So I'm gonna put my packer back in there. Now I'm just gonna mark a line here where that hits. I'm gonna move these out of the way, and I've already got my 200 by 50 macrocarpa sleeper, and I'm gonna slot that in underneath. So what this is gonna do, Two things. One, I'm not going to use so much sand in my pit, and also it's going to help support the seats back here. Now the thickness of my sleeper here is 50 millimetres, so I'm just going to come in 25 millimetres, half that, to get to the centre so I can put in our same coach screws. So I'm just ruling a line where the centre is, and I'm just going to mark down 30 millimetres top and bottom, and do exactly the same process, screwing the sleeper in as we did on the sides. And then I'll do the same for the seat support on the other side. I've just cut myself a nog, or some people call it a dwang, that's going to go in the centre of our seat. That's going to give it a little bit more support. And I'm just putting those in with two 100mm long bugle screws that'll go on the inside. And on the outside, I'll recess, pre-drill, and fix in two coach screws about 10mm in, top and bottom. Sweet, we're just about ready to start fixing all our decking boards down. So what I'm going to do is start putting down the first two boards. What I've got here is a 15mm stainless steel decking screw. When you're putting in any sort of a screw into hardwood decking, you want to make sure that you always pre-drill the hole. So I'll come in 55mm from the ends and 20mm from the sides and mark for two screws per decking board. 
Now let's pre-drill. I've got a two and a half millimeter drill bit here. And let's just double check that I'm 20 mil over. That's looking pretty good. Okay, we'll just do exactly the same down the other end and another pair in the middle. Okay, we're just about getting up to the point where we attach our 150mm long galvanised T-hinge to our boards. But before we do that, I've got numbers 3 and 4 sitting here. I need to attach a little back strap to the underside of them to support the seat when it flips over. So, what I've done is got my 20mm packer, pulled that in nice and tight. And I'm just going to bring in the packer a couple of millimetres from each edge. So, I'm going to cut 3 at 290. Then I'll flip boards three and four over and screw these straps on from the underside with eight screws per strap. Just as a wee little tip, before you start screwing on your little back straps here, put a straight edge, a level or something from one end to the other just to make sure all your boards are butting up nice and tight. That way you're going to ensure you get a really nice straight line before you start screwing these together. Excellent. So all we've got to do now, flip this over and attach our T-hinges. Now I'm just going to line these up with the centre of our little back strap there. Now out of interest that is 210 millimetres. I'm going to pre-drill holes. I'm going to use our 50 millimetre long decking screws to go in through on the base side of the hinge that's going to go all the way into our sleeper and then we'll use our 38 millimeter screws that go in through the flat part of the hinge. Now just before you attach the hinge to number three board you just want to double check one last time that these boards haven't moved. They're all sitting there nice and straight. That's looking good so I can attach that now. I'll pre-drill it. Brilliant, so all I've got to do is repeat the process for the other two hinges. Beautiful. The next thing we've got to get onto is our next set of straps that we're going to put across our boards. Now, unlike the back straps that went on numbers three and four, these go on the tops. Now these go on our last two boards, number five and six. And the reason that they go on the top is because we're going to put our hinge on the underside this time and then that's going to fold the other way and this little piece here goes round the back. So we're only going to fix thing to these two boards here. That piece leads dangling down the back which supports the back of the seat. So I'll line this strap up with the one underneath, square it up, clamp it down and fix it in place. Okay, so what I have to do now is attach my hinges. Now the hinges are going to go on the underside of these two boards. So what I'm going to have to do is open up the first set of hinges here, like so. And then we're going to slip this one underneath. And once again, we'll get our straight edge and make sure we're nice and straight on the outside before we start attaching our hinges. I've got a little prop here, just a couple of bits of timber holding that up just while I'm working. So, I've cut three more of these decking boards at 290 millimetres, exactly the same as we did on the other side here. I've attached those to the ends in line with the other two. I'm just about ready to put the last one in the middle here. And I'm just using my straight edge here just to keep that nice and straight. Clamp it in place, making sure I'm just back from the edge. That's looking good. Hold that down. Once again, marking, pre-drilling, throw the screws in and then we can put our hinges on. So I'm just putting a little clamp on the end here. Once again, always making sure that we have got our obligatory 20 mil gap in between and we're just going to clamp that up just so when we put our hinges on nothing is going to move on us. So we got our 100 mil galvanized butt hinge 
and we're just going to sit that in central, pre-drill the holes, and we're going to put in our 38 millimeter screws. It's always a good idea when you're drilling your holes for the screws is just put in one or two screws on each side just to hold it, and then you can pre-drill the rest. Otherwise, it's really easy to bump the hinge and then the screw holes don't quite line up. So just put one or two in and then it's sitting in there nice and tight and then go along and pre-drill it all. Okay, that's this side fully done. So I'll do the same for the other cover. Then I'll attach a handle to each cover. Because the covers are made from hardwood decking, they'll be pretty heavy. Then finally, I'll take the edges off of the block plane so there's no chance of splinters. Okay, so let's have a crack on it. So all we gotta do now, throw a little bit of weed mat down and put the sand in and see what the kids think. It's a good idea to lay weed mat under the seating areas as well. So that's your sand pit done, easy as. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mitre 10 YouTube channel for more handy content or click here to watch more now.